Just letting you know that we do find some ruins and we also find some cool fossils in this video. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy what I find on this adventure. Turn out to be a really cool day. All right, let's talk about today's adventure a little bit. I am in Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, just north of Pine Grove and another little town called Ravine. And we are searching for the remains of a village called Roush Creek. Um, it was a coal mining village out here. So, but let me explain some things first about this place because people get confused about this. Um, there is another abandoned village over in northern Lebanon County in Stony Valley called Roush Gap. And there is a Roush Creek there as well. Um, but there's a Roush Creek here at this spot too. And people get confused between the two because I did a video over at Roush Gap once and someone told me a you know, I was in the wrong place and Roush Creek is actually over here. Well, it's kind of in both places. So um, let me explain that just a little bit from what I can understand is uh, the people that, there used to be a town called Roush Gap over there in Lebanon County, a little coal mining town, you know, along the Stony Valley Rail Trail. Most of you know about that, well, if you're from this area. But, you know, 1820s, 1850s, that town existed. Um, 1870, I think the railroad pulled out the headquarters and not too long after that, that town kind of shut down. And from what I've read is a lot of people from that Roush Gap moved over to this area um, and called, because there was a creek over there called Roush Creek. And when they moved here, you know, they called the creek here Roush Creek as well. And I've heard from several sources that a lot of the houses that were over in Roush Gap, they dismantled and brought over here to live in. And this was a coal mining town too. There was a, a coal mine colliery just down the way here. So the, the two towns are related historically because of that, and they, unless they have similar names, Roush Gap, Roush Creek. So that they are not the same place though. Um, and this town existed until the 1960s when they built Interstate 81, which is down below me. The town, that interstate pretty much went through town, I think, and destroyed it, so. I'm just going to be out here looking. I've heard that there are some ruins out here. Like, I might be able to find some foundations and uh, the, at least of the colliery. But we'll see what else we can find. I don't know. We'll see. I have never been here. I've been along this road. This is Roush Creek Road. So we shall see what we find. But as always, I'm just going to take you along and with me on the search. Um, and I know someone in the comments is going to be like, you know, oh, you're looking in the wrong place. You know, Roush, Gap, Roush Creek is over in Lebanon County. Yeah, it is a, a different one. This is this is a different place. So um, anyway, and if you know more about this spot, the history of this spot we're in, you can go ahead and mention in the comments. I'd appreciate that. So anyway, I'm going to quit yapping and we're going to get on exploring. It's a nice day in the 50s. I'm seeing a lot of artificial hills and there's an old road behind me. So I'm hoping there's some cool stuff back here. We'll see. So I'm just gonna head off down this, it was obviously a road, heads right towards where the coal mine colliery was. Of course we just park right back there off the road. Um, you will see posted signs here, so I will inform you that this, this is not public land, this is private land. Um, I do have a permit to be out here though, so I'm not, I'm not trespassing. But uh, just keep in mind if you do come out here yourself, that it is, it is private land. I think there's a geocache around here somewhere too. Um, so yeah, I'm just letting you know, this is private land. Come here at your own risk if you do. And of course right down there is the interstate. So there is gonna be a lot of uh, road noise as well. with the interstate down there, but I can't do nothing about that. That's just the nature of it, so anyway, I'll quit uh, talking and we'll see if we can find something out here. All right, so I know we're supposed to be searching for history out here, but I found some uh, fossil-like stuff out here as well. I was walking along the trail and I saw this cool uh, kind of like outcropping a rock. There's something to fossils. And it just looked pretty interesting. Maybe not to you. But then there was a rock up here that I just kind of pulled out and it broke open. And look, you can see, see all those curved insides? This is called a concretion. Because this is like a one solid rock and it broke open. And inside, 
was this. Of course, it was a much, it broke apart too. Here's another piece of it right here. But this was laying inside here. It almost looks like a cannonball. It's not. But there's their concretions. A lot of times on the inside of these, or the center, is a fossilized animal or creature. This is all like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get into all the science of it, but they're pretty cool. It deals with a creature and a whole bunch of organic matter getting caught up in a ball like this and then being surrounded by other sediments and getting fossilized like that. So you can see kind of how it broke open. Looks like a ball, and there was the ball thing that was inside of it. I don't really see a fossil at the center of this one. Looks like there might be something a little bit there, but that's pretty cool though. To me at least. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm still talking about fossils, but this is the one that caught my eye when I walked by. This whole big thing is like a concretion. You can see all the, the layers of it right here. Whoops, tree fell. And then here's another piece. So there could very well be some nice fossils inside there. But uh, we'll let it go for today. Yeah, so I'm gonna let that area go. But I, I was hoping, a lot of times when I come to these Coal, coal areas, a lot of times you, it's a good chance that you'll find some fossils too, so I have to keep that place in mind and come back in the future sometime. And I didn't bring my fossil tools with, so but anyway, we're supposed to be looking for history, so let's keep uh, heading up this road. And as we walk along, you can see, start seeing some of the signs of coal mining. One of the old pits up here, but this one's filled with tires. Yeah, check that out. Sheesh. Hundreds and hundreds of tires in here. All kinds of trash. Of course, you can also see the remains of some coal up top here. Yeah, that's kind of a shame, but oh well. Like there's some appliances up there too. <laughs> That's the way it is at these abandoned sites though. They get trashed. Alright. Yeah, it's just a mess. It's kind of a shame. But despite the trash, seeing the coal mine pit here is a good sign. We're in the uh, we're in the right area. So they were digging coal back here. It's just a matter of finding hopefully some foundations and other ruins back here. Maybe not as many tires. Alright, we'll let the We'll let this go. So it looks like up here there's a pretty huge pit in the ground. Let's walk up and take a look together here. Yeah, pretty big hole in the ground up here. Let's go look over the edge here. Yeah. Oh, cool, it goes all the way down, down there. So, wow. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I really want to go exploring up in there. So we'll see. Uh, I have to go down in there. So. Just see if there's any cool stuff, like fossils and stuff. I don't know if we'll do it now or later, but... Oh, interesting. All right, well, I will get back to you after I decide what to do. All right. But that's quite a hole in the ground. All dug out for coal back in the day. So I couldn't resist. I did make my way down. I was over there a little bit. Didn't find anything, but then we came over here. Check out this area under this big overhang. Eh, not the safest place to be, but look right up in there. That whole thing looks like a big tree fossil going all along there. That's what it looks like. Big, huge tree fossil. That's pretty awesome. 
obviously I can't go up there, but wow, all kinds of rocks around here. Like here's even some neat, it's like a real shiny type of coal. That's pretty cool. Some neat geology down here. Yeah, so I'm still looking at this, but right over here, you can kind of it looks kind of like coal here, although it's pretty low grade coal. But you can see the rock layers change. There's an interesting layer right up there because it changes here. Then right in there, because right above was a tree, but that's like a, that's a real fossil-y looking area there. I see some gaps and voids, and I think I even see some other. I see some other tree fossils up in there too, scattered around. So cool. I was not sure how much I want to hang around. Underneath this huge cliff face here, because I'm in the shadows here. So, but um, maybe we'll poke around just a little bit. So we'll see. I don't want to get too close, because uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> for obvious reasons. So anyway, I'll get back to you. All right, so that is definitely a fossilized tree right there. That thing right there that's pretty cool even off to the side here let me move over here there's some i don't know if you can see them and they make them out in there some sections of fossilized trees there's one right there there's a tree or a branch at least there's one right below it so that is pretty cool that's a tree right there goes all the way down yeah, like I said, that layer of rock right there is really interesting. That's what's crumbling down to the ground here, this stuff down here. And it does have, here's another piece of a tree and there's some interesting stuff in this rock. Like right there's a fossil. This rock is really light and crumbly and there's something there. So, yeah, it's a very interesting rock. It's like it's a whole layer of organic matter that got, you know, compressed. You can hardly see me. It's in the shadows here, but... Anyway, so I can spend a lot of time here looking around, so, but I'm going to look around just a little bit more over there and then we'll get back to looking for some other stuff, but wow, that tree is pretty awesome, so, all right. Yeah, I can't help it. I'm like a kid in a candy shop when I come out to these places, fossils and history and stuff, so anyway, all right. Yeah, and any of this stuff here that is just super shiny. Check that out. Might have to take the piece of this home. That's pretty cool. Well, I made my way out of the pit, but that was uh, definitely interesting. So I'll have to keep this place on my radar. Maybe go back someday. Although it was a little, a little unnerving with those big rock overhangs. All right, let's keep on going. Having fun so far. All right, so I dropped down. The, the road I was on was up there, but I dropped further down here. I saw some interesting stuff. You see all these old railroad ties here. It sounds like this was a, a loading zone. You can see another road coming up this way. And there's some old uh, metal cable here too. So thinking maybe a loading zone or something that caught my eye too but it's nothing so I don't know I think I might follow this road for a little bit that's the problem with these sites too there's multiple roads and places you could go and it's difficult to try and pick which one you want to take so but this one looks more interesting so I'll take this one All right, we do have our first foundations up here. There's some stuff right down in here. And up there is something as well. So we'll take a look around here. Well, there's actually quite a bit going up and through there. Yes, yeah, so there's a whole series of some concrete ruins here, rather large set right there, and then up there, 
There's some stone and brick ruins. Let's get up there. Stone work on the bottom, and up top is brickwork. Not exactly sure what these were. Big old steel cable down there. So this could very well be the location of the colliery where they wash and process the coal, because like I said, then there's numerous foundations down there. Although what I'm not seeing here is the, the waste coal, or the calm pile they called it. I know there's one further over there. So this could be another building associated with the site. You know, you can let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not an expert on these things, so I just like finding the stuff. All right. So there's stuff out here, cool. Well, here, we did find fossils, but now we're actually finding some of these historical ruins out here as well. Cool. I like these, though. I'm just standing up between them right now, but you can tell they were once much larger. You can see, you know, they cut the a whole bunch of little metal rods sticking up. There would have been something up above this that later got cut down. Yes, yeah, so up there is where we just were, but you can also see some more of the other ruins down here, some more of that concrete structure exposed from the ground here. So there's a large building here of some sort. All right, so I've come to where the Colm banks are. That's C-U-L-M, Colm. It's the waste coal that they uh, processed out of the good, with the good stuff. So I'm not seeing any foundations over here, so I'm guessing that where we were over there was the colliery, and that maybe they just uh, carted and dumped the waste coal over here, this spot, because it goes all the way down the mountain here, like different levels. So, because you can see this on the satellite maps. I don't see that. I've seen some trash, but no foundations. So, and we're gonna keep looking around some more, keep exploring, see what else is out here. As far as where the town is, I'm guessing the town is further down at the bottom, like I said. I don't know if we'll get down there or not, looking around, maybe a little bit. We'll see. Just kind of standing out here on one of the, those column banks. You can see the interstate down there. I don't know if you can see that, that glint, that's the stream down there, that's Roush Creek. I'm just looking down the bank and I see the remains of a structure down there. So I think I'm going to try to make my way down there as carefully as I can. It's pretty steep around here, but I have to, I have to ease my curiosity. So yeah, I'll find a way down there though. But I won't end up killing myself. All right, we'll see. Here's what I saw earlier from up top. It doesn't look like much. Some little telephone poles. Not sure what was going on here. There's a bunch of railroad ties right there. Hmm, almost like a, I don't know, were they loading stuff from here again? Because there's like a little road here. So maybe that's, there's numerous other uh, little stubs of telephone poles going up over there. There's some more railroad ties down there. This is interesting up here, though. There's some more structure, and then right there. This looks like it looks like it's dug out in there, like they were 
huh, if someone was mining here at a later date, maybe? Well, you can let me know what you think was going on here. Like I said, there's more, more down right there. And there's more of it down a little bit further. We were just up there, so I guess it's what they call cribbing. So I was thinking that they were somebody was maybe taking some of this waste coal and loading it up or something like that. I don't know. But uh, we're down by the local road right now. The way I came in. So we'll see. I think I might go across here to the creek because I saw something interesting from up there. Let's see. So that's looking back across the road to where we were. That's the old Colm bank. And way over up that way was the those ruins we found. So, and then from up top there I could see this. This is abandoned mine water drainage. That beautiful, ugly orange color. And you can see it wind its way through the woods. And down into Roush Creek. And that's what pollutes so much of the waters around here. Yes, yeah, so this is coming from a hole in the ground right, right below the, the column bank where some of those structures are where that we saw earlier. So I'm guessing that there was a mine right in there somewhere. <coughs> and this is water draining out of it. I'm just guessing, but. So here's something a little bit interesting. These are coal cinders. So this is what's left over from burnt coal. And there's some unburned coal here too, so. Not sure. Usually when you see this, it's a sign of you know human activity besides the coal. You know, a lot of times at these collieries they burn the coal, you know, for steam engines and stuff. So it's just a just a sign that there could be something nearby. When you see uh, coal cinders like that, you might just want to look around a little bit more. But I don't see anything here, so they probably just got dumped here at one point in time. All right. Well, I've just been wandering around for a while here. Haven't been filming a whole lot lately. Um, just been kind of scrambling around in the woods here looking for stuff. I did find another fossil. Kind of cool. Some, uh, move it up here a little bit so you can see it. It's a tree bark right there. It's kind of cool. I might try to take this one home, actually. I don't think I'm too far from my truck. I can't see it, but it's, I think it's down there somewhere, so. Normally, I don't, this is a larger fossil. Normally, I wouldn't take something like this out because you have to carry it, but I not, I don't think I'm too far from the truck. We'll see, but that's kind of a cool one there. So, we'll see. All right. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to go try and find the truck now, I think. So, I'll see you down there, unless I come across something else on the way back. But I think I'm winding this video up shortly, I think. Yeah, so the truck is just right down there, so we are almost back. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits for this video, I think. Um, I would say it was a success. We did find some historical ruins. We found some foundations, probably was the old colliery back here, and some fossils, some pretty cool fossils, actually, that big tree one. So I, I may come back here again, look for the fossils, but you know, if you are familiar with this area and there's something back here that I missed that you think I should check out, you know, go ahead, Mention in the comments and uh, you know, probably maybe I'll come back, but um, it's cool. Just never been here before, didn't know what I was gonna find, so it was a win win for me. History and fossils, so anyway, I gotta get home. I got, I got a haircut tonight, hair's getting a little shaggy, or what, what I have left of my hair is getting kind of shaggy. So, anyway, uh, I will see you around. Thanks for watching.